How you doing guys? Professor EDC with another Blade Philosophy Sunday and today I want to have a, a little bit of fun and I uh, want to do this a little bit different. Um, a friend of mine from, from Spain, uh, my good old friend Morgan, sent me a phrase uh, that I liked very much in a message. And I decided to take that phrase and, and use it for the purpose of this video. And so, while I keep on talking, I will um, tell you the phrase. And this will also be an open tag video. Um, so, here we go. And uh, let's not make it too long so that people might respond. You can respond. Um, down in the comments if you don't have a, a channel and for those who have a channel uh, please please uh, respond and, and share and, and let's have fun with this video you know I'm very fond of stories and uh, of warrior stories and, and uh, Camelot and uh, samurais and swords of all sorts and in the past in the past, uh, when skilled warriors and uh, more um, learned uh, warriors went to look for a sword, this sword had to be something special. And it wasn't done just by any bladesmith. It had to be a special bladesmith. You know, it's not something that uh, might be, I don't know, uh, somewhat... Uh, what can we have here? Something something that might be, uh, I don't know, trendy, you know? Something like uh, not, well, I'm not going to talk about any brand, but, you know, just something trendy. Uh, that's something uh, any, any warrior might just uh, have. But an advanced warrior would search for his... Um, soulmate in in his sword and so the the phrase is knives carry the soul of their owners the knife you are carrying reflects your personality and this is so true in in so many ways uh, and this also relates to to that uh, video that i made a uh, couple of years ago, or a year ago, I think, um, what blade defines your personality? I think it was uh, something like that. Um, but this is a bit, taking it a, a step further and, and deeper. This, um, you know, if we were in a story, a story as such, and and we take the, uh, the Sith, Rodrigo Diaz de Vivar, and and how um, he came across with uh, his Tisona, or uh, Arthur and uh, Excalibur, you know, um, and so many. We can go to anime and talk about uh, um, Kenshin and his last sword, or uh, just well, just so many stories. I can go on and on, but. If we are to think in that way, as a skilled and advanced and a, a, a warrior, a more spiritual warrior, what knife um, do you think um, can carry your soul? or you can identify, your soul identifies with. And so, here we go. Um, I have laid this out, and, and this I also do to, to give meaning, you know, to, to step out of this so trendy world, um, so full of hype, and these are our blades that I have tested more or less and, and have used in, in one way or another and that have been with me for some time. There is a, a, a rather new one, which would be the Omnum Sun, the Sun, um, 
but which is very, very similar to the 31 and well, there is an impact there. But anyways, I want with this video to step out of the um, of the light of this trendiness and, and go a step deeper and beyond and, and see what I identify with and, and what my soul might uh, carry, you know? So here we go. Um, this is in no particular order, just right now at the moment. Um, and, and I love all my blades and um, I love each and every one that is here, you know, they are here for a reason. So I'm just not going to give a reason why I'm taking them out. It's just in um, random order. I, I will explain a bit uh, more about the, the ones that stay behind. And so, meanwhile, you can also think about your story. If, uh, yeah, we are not living those times. But at the same time, we each lead a battle um, in our lives, right? Oh, that one hurt. <laughs> I will leave, uh, I will choose two blades. I will choose a, a, print, a main blade and a secondary blade. So I will choose a traditional folder and, uh, and a main or principal blade. And so you might be able to think um, as well in your adventure, in your story. Mm, this is getting interesting, right? What? You know, I love the story of uh, El Cid Campeador. If you don't know about Rodrigo Diaz de Vivar, you should. He was a phenomenal warrior, but most of all, a human being. He was just fantastic. I remain, rem remember him fondly, very fondly, even more so than Arthur. Gotta turn these around and, and just have a look. When you think about your soul, right? Something that makes click, something that you identify with in a deeper level. Each and every one of these blades is just special to me in, in one way or another. But also, times change, one changes. Mm. Not yet, not just yet. This one, this one lasted, um, and I'm, I have fallen in love with this one, with the Zan, but it's the new one, so, you know. Um, oof, I don't know. I don't know. So this is live TV, yeah. You know, that's one of the reasons sometimes it takes me longer to um, 
record and upload these videos on Sunday because um, sometimes the subject just doesn't come up. Hmm. Okay, this is tough now. This, I, I don't know where to go from. I think I already know. I think I already know. Let's just make it exciting. <laughs> So, this um, Boker Schloss is uh, the one, my secondary blade. This would be the um, secondary blade I choose, a traditional. I love traditionals, but first of all, it has a backlog, and, and I, love, I love that. A traditional that has a backlog is, is a plus. A single blade, I, I really enjoy a single blade like this. And it has the, the you know, I have, uh, since I was very, very young, I have always admired um, the uh, Teuton culture, uh, Germans, and um, I have al always identified with. So, and this is made out of... Uh, uh, a, a 200 old piece of wood from a castle in Germany. Don't remember which one, but um, anyways, it's just, it has a piece of uh, history and uh, is very close and related to me in a way. So, and that's, uh, I don't remember if that's O1 steel as well, but just beautifully made, uh, even though I think... Uh, Boker is uh, slouching a bit in quality, but this would be the one that uh, stays with me as a secondary blade. And a primary blade... Yeah, that's how it is. That's how it goes. That would be the story of Professor EDC. By the way, this is paint, not gum. <laughs> so <laughs> let's see if we can take that out of the screen. <laughs> um, these would be the blades that would be with me that would um, reflect more or less my my soul this secondary blade and this primary blade the evo typhoon um by brian odo sharp by design love this uh blacked out version just just so so beautiful and and you know I would choose a sword like that and then a traditional that is uh, secure that has a, a a piece of wood that is part of history you know it has a, a, a another an extra value to it and just a a, a nice nice blade shape uh, for a traditional and good size there you have it um, guys so knives carry the soul of the their owners the knife you're carrying reflects your personality or so some people say and believe I want to cover up that darn thing um, 
and I'm I'm going to I'm going to tag am I going to tag anyone uh, heck yeah I'm going to ta tag Dirk Dirk Warning um, my good friend Dirk Warning I'm going to tag uh, mm, let's see I want to tag Another good friend, Nicolas Shabazz. Let's see if uh, Nick has time to respond uh, to this um, tag video and, and this uh, storyline. And apart from Nick, I'd also like to tag Dirk Werning, Nick Shabazz, and... Alex, Alex from the um, Knifebox channel. I think I'm going to tag those three. And of course, I'll, uh, I leave it open for anyone who wants to join in down in the comments and also uh, in a video. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And I do believe in, in, in all of these sort of things. I have... Um, kept on I've kept on reading this story since I was very young um, since I was a child and keep on reading about these stories uh, and it's it's and legends and it's just it gives my life meaning I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a wonderful wonderful week Professor EDC out <laughs>